Good afternoon, it's Simon here from Rothley. I just thought I'd do a quick video to explain a little bit more about our twin slot system. We get asked a lot of questions around what strength the brackets will hold, uh, what does our antimicrobial coating mean, um, why is there a price difference between a plated finish versus a powder coated finish, etc. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to give you a little bit of understanding of twin slot uh, and hopefully this may help you uh, when you're deciding to either purchase it or, or supply it. Uh, in the future via Roughly. So what you see on the stand in front of you basically is, is the white, um, which is commonly known and is was up until recently one of our best selling ranges. A lot of white on the market um, is used generally within storage. It can also be used um, to put paintings on, etc. in the garage. It was a very, very functional product. When we actually decided to then do alternative finishes, rather than doing a chrome plated finish, we actually did a powder coated finish. So we call this chrome with a K. It's quite hard to pick up on the camera, um, but this actually isn't chrome plated. As I say, it's a high build up powder coat. It's a similar system to the likes of what IKEA use uh, when they went through the process of removing chrome in their production. Basically the production of chrome at CR6, it actually gives off cancerous fumes over in China and it's really hard to regulate. So again, all of our new ranges, we don't actually use chrome plating. We use alternative finishes, hence stainless steel, chrome with a K powder coat and etc. So on the white products, as I say, and I mentioned before, these are antimicrobial coated. Um, it's actually an additive that goes into the powder coat. So again, if you're seeing products that are claiming to be antimicrobial, antibacterial, antiviral, etc., it's quite hard to do on a plated product. It's a lot easier to do on a powder coated product. So again, the antimicrobial only covers our white range because generally that is what's accepted within the NHS, within clean rooms, within surgeries, etc. We don't actually add that additive to the other ranges because we don't need to. They're generally used, as I say, in the past for storage, now more in a decorative situation in your house, etc. So when you actually look at some of the new finishes that we do, again, the other question we get asked is, is why aren't they the same price? As a general rule of thumb, your powder coated products, so your white, your silver, and your matte black, are generally the same price purely because of the process of powder coating. If you do have to put an additive in, like antimicrobial, antibacterial, etc., then obviously it does add a little bit of a difference to the white one. On the plated products, which you'll see here, which are the copper and the brass version, again, it's a different process. So these are actually plated. There is an increased cost, obviously, to plate products rather than powder coating products generally. So again, they won't be exactly the same price. So if you do see them, um, whether that be on any of the products that we do or any products that other people do, that would be the reason why. I mentioned earlier about testing. Um, we actually have our systems tested under British standard. You can't actually test the product itself um, under British standard. You have to do it as part of a system test. The only test that's available on twin slot is actually a wardrobe test, and that's actually defined of how the product is fixed to the wall, the spacing of the brackets, the spacing of the uprights, etc. So you can't really advise people on what weight uh, the, the shelves will hold. Again, mainly because depending on the material of the shaft they're using, so if you're using melamine board, etc., it really determines on the weight that that will hold because we can't guarantee where you're actually putting the weight. So we could turn around and say that our brackets, you know, will hold 150 kilograms until they actually bend or break. Um, but in theory, the maximum test you can do under British standard is 50 kilograms and your weak points will always be the fix into the wall, the type of wall you're fixing to um, or the shelf itself. Bending the material is the last thing that will happen. So again, as I say, you'll notice that we say they'll hold up to 50 kilograms as a system. That's the reason why we will. Generally, generally if you're looking at an actual storage hook, uh, like I showed you on a previous video, so obviously if you're actually fixing that to the wall and hanging stuff off it, again, similar principle, because again, your weakest point actually is where you fix it. So it's exactly the same on twin slot. So again, it does cause confusion in the industry because people say to us, well, I've seen systems that hold 100K, I've seen systems that hold 150K or brackets, etc. But actually, when you look at the British standard testing, you can't actually test more than 50 kilograms and it has to be as part of a wardrobe, strangely. Hence why, obviously, these products are where they've been used in the past. But again, with the people, a lot of people now actually working from home, turning their, their bedrooms into offices, etc. The great thing with the twin slot system is, is you can actually hook in the bracket, hook it out, take the shelves off, leave the uprights on the wall and you've still got space to obviously put your bed back, turn that into a bedroom with an inflatable bed, etc. Um, again, if you want to use the slightly larger brackets, if you wanted to put a shelf on there, that you could work off. Again, it's another ideal uh, situation and you're not just reliant on having silver or white. So if your room 
or your dining room has got lots of accents where there's copper or brass being used. Again, our new finishes, which are unique to us, um, come into play. Again, if you want to mix and match them, you can. So you could actually put a matte black product with a, a silver, brass, or, or black, or bright, or vice versa. Again, to match the actual touches in your home where you may have lights that are black and brass, or black and copper, etc. So again, all our systems are interchangeable. It also matches the other finishes we do. So again, if it is next to a grab rail or a handrail, or one of our new Baroque table legs, or one of our kitchen support legs, etc., then they will match and finish as well. So again, we're not trying to stop people buying our ranges, but you will find if you go to different manufacturers who say that their products are matte black, you wouldn't believe how many variants of matte black there are on the market. So I hope that helps. And as I say, if you want any more information or have any further questions, please let me know and I'll see you soon.